If you watch Yellowstone and root for the Duttons, then I'm sorry, but you have no right to come after Ballerina Farm. They're preserving thousands of acres of farmland, but doing it with morals, like not going around killing people like they do on Yellowstone. So what's the issue? If you don't know what I'm talking about, Ballerina Farm is a really famous farm on Instagram, and people are mad because they suddenly found out that they come for money and are rich, even though they assume that they were poor simply because they wear old-fashioned clothes and farm. So people are mad and are pretty much saying that they're doing poverty cosplay. But why can wealth only look like private jets and yachts and these massive beachfront mansions? Why can't it look like farms? Why can't it look like owning thousands of acres of land and farming it with your family? Now, I don't know how much land they have, but it's a lot. And if you've ever looked up real estate online, especially real estate in Utah, then you should already know that they've got money because to buy that much land is expensive. So yeah. Starting up a farm right now is unattainable for a lot of people, but does that mean that ballerina farms should feel guilty about having the ability to do that with their generational wealth? No, I don't think so. And I don't think that they should have to put a disclaimer out either. That's their private business. And honestly, if you don't have the common sense to know that land costs money, then that's on you. But when Bill Gates is buying up farmland left and right to do who knows what with it, I can't even fathom why people would have an issue with this wholesome family buying land to actually farm it. We're all watching Yellowstone right now and seeing how family farms are struggling to hold on to their land and end up just selling their land to commercial developers for the big check, which is understandable, but it's sad. The land then gets turned into apartments, townhomes, stores, airports. And once that happens, that land is not farmable anymore it's gone. Nobody's gonna buy property that a mall is on and bulldoze it to then farm the land. Like, it's just not gonna happen. Once the land is gone, it's gone. So really, we should be grateful for this family that is able to afford to buy this land and is actually preserving it as farmland instead of selling it piece by piece for maximum profit to developers. It's not just that family farms are dwindling, but once they sell that land to developers, the chance for someone else to farm that land is also gone, usually for forever.